It's important to understand that you are already wired to birth your baby. You don't need to know how to birth your baby. Your body already knows exactly what it needs to do to birth your baby. You just need to know about birth. Interesting, isn't it? So when you give birth, your body has a natural way of handling the process without you needing to consciously think about it. This is because your brain has different parts. So one part that handles the basic functions like breathing, heart rate, digestion, and uterine contractions, and another part that does the more complicated, rational, and logical thinking. Birth is an instinctive process that is controlled by your primitive or reptilian part of your brain, which is responsible for basic survival functions. So during birth, the reptilian part of your brain takes over making sure everything happens as it should. What's really important to understand and what can derail your labor is when the thinking part of your brain kicks in and gets in the way during your labor, making you nervous or scared. And this can slow down or even stop the birth process and make your labor much more painful. Unlike the reptilian part of your brain, the thinking or logical part of your brain known as the neocortex is responsible for higher level cognitive functions and this part of your brain can interfere with the natural birthing process by causing fear, tension or anxiety. You may start to ask yourself questions. What if my waters don't break? What if I have to have a C-section? And these thoughts which you process in your rational logical brain can cause you to start to feel worry and then fear. But if you can relax and trust your body and use your hypnobirthing techniques to turn off your cognitive brain responsible for that logic and reasoning and allow your ancient reptilian brain to take over during your labor, you will have a calmer, easier and more comfortable labor. So here is what I want you to avoid. When you start to think about what is happening during labor, you are using your cognitive brain. When you are deep in relaxation during labor and someone interrupts you to ask you a question, you move back to using your cognitive brain. So get your birth companion to work with your healthcare team and answer those questions so that you can stay focused and relaxed. When during labor you start thinking thoughts like, what if, or wow, this is really hurting, or I just can't do this anymore, you are using your cognitive brain. So what you want to do is use your hypnobirthing techniques to shut down the cognitive part of your brain and go deep within yourself during labor so that your reptilian brain can take over and help you birth your baby, allow your body to just do its job. So what I want you to take home from this video is that you don't need to worry because your body is perfectly designed to give birth and the process of birth your uterine contractions, your cervix thinning and opening, and your baby moving down the birth canal are largely instinctual and automatic and controlled by your reptilian brain. You can't really control any of this. What you can control is making sure you stay calm and relaxed and don't use your logical reasoning cognitive, cognitive brain too much during labor. The best way to do this is to use the hypnobirthing techniques to stay calm, relaxed and minimize fear so that your body can get on and do the job of birthing your baby. Now I know I've mentioned the fear tension pain cycle before and we'll get to that but for now understand that fear is the enemy of the birth room. It causes a lot of issues with allowing your reptilian brain to do its job to birth your baby and can slow or even stop your labor. But by trusting your body and reducing fear and tension and staying relaxed you can allow that primitive brain to take over, leading to a more smoother and more efficient birth. So really, you don't need to think about birthing your baby. You just need to learn about birth and how your body works during labor so that you know what to do and what to expect. Then you're going to use the hypnobirthing techniques that you're going to learn to work with your body to stay calm and relaxed and trust in the natural process of birth and your body's ability to birth your baby.